What's up, everyone? Back with another Peyton's Perspective. Today, I wanted to talk about the difference between girls dating and guys dating. Um, I got called a douche today, uh, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I don't think I was, so that's that's the thing about me. You can t- call me whatever you want. I know who I am. I don't need you to tell me who I am, right? So, anyway, I was uh, um, talking with someone today, and she was talking about, like, yeah, back in college or whatever, I used to just go on some dates with guys just because they kept asking, and I wanted a free meal. I was like, oh my God, you're a douche. She's like, well, blah, 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 blah. which that's fine. Maybe she was, maybe she wasn't, whatever. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's kind of a douchey move. If you know, it's not going to go anywhere. But then I said, okay, so when I sleep with a girl, knowing that it's not going to go anywhere, is that a jerk move? She was, oh my gosh, you did that? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and uh, I was like, what do you mean? It's the same thing you just did. It's the same thing you said you did. You led someone on and then didn't, knowing that nothing was going to come out of it. How is that any different than what I did? She goes, well, yeah, but you're going after, like, physically, that's a lot different than just you paying for a meal. And I'm like, I beg to differ. If you look at society, society typically views us guys as the breadwinners. Um, maybe saying breadwinners isn't the best way to say that, because now we come off as winners and someone has to be a loser. Uh... So you got to be PG kids, everything or PC, everything's got to. Eh, uh-huh. um, but what I mean is, guy in society, guys typically, you know, it's very common still to this day for a guy to have a job and a girl to stay at home and take care of the kids. Like that is a thing that happens all the time. In fact, that's happened twice to two people I know. I've only lived in Kansas City for two years, and I've seen it happen twice. Um, and but I haven't seen it go the other way. Well, actually, I have seen that once. So it, it does go the other way. But typically, and I'm sure the world's changing, like, it changes every day, and whatever. But uh, typically, the girl stays home, and the guy um, goes to work. Typically, the guys are seen as the moneymakers. Typically. Well, that means that we take pride, and whether we are the moneymakers or not, we still take pride in providing. That is something that guys do. We are providers. And so when you, t- when you go and you uh, make us pay for a dinner knowing that nothing's going to happen after that, that is a dick move because that is our livelihood. How much money we have is directly related to how um, how well we do with women or how well we do with relationships. That is almost like, I guarantee you, well, in my, like it's, you see it all the time. All the 50-year-old rich guys that are dating 30, 20-year-old girls. Like it happens all the time. If you have a lot of money, you can get a prettier girl. That is, that's how guys, that's how the world is for guys. So by you taking our money f- and get it, and then knowing nothing's going to happen in return, like you're literally diminishing our livelihood, right? So then when a guy sleeps with you and then knowing nothing's going to happen, oh my gosh, how is, that's not any worse, right? How, how do girls, what, what do girls live on in society? Like what, what about, Okay. Well, I feel like what girls typically, in, stat-wise, in society, girls take pride in their ability to, uh, like, it's, uh, God, this is going to sound terrible. It's a guy's job to bring home the money. It's a girl's job to raise the kids. That is how things have typically been in society. I, I'm not trying to say that's right or wrong, or if that's how things are seen today. It's, it's ever-changing. But as a guy, I take pride in providing. That That means that I would assume... There's a lot of girls out there that take pride in, um, what's that called? Nurturing, right? Nurturing, the ability to nurture, raise a kid, all that stuff. So while you're attacking the thing that I'm prideful about, I'm attacking the thing that you're prideful about. You know, the, the, the physicality of, you know, whatever. Uh, so it's equal. It is equal. You going on a date with a guy knowing nothing's going to happen later is the same as me uh, going over to your house late at night knowing I'm never going to talk to you again. Like, it's the same thing. The only difference is, I'm not afraid to admit it. So, uh, girls, you're not better than guys. Guys, you're not better than girls either. Uh, but just know that you're equally as bad. So let's stop blaming the other people. This whole cancel Father's Day, I heard that was a thing. What? All right, go ahead, cancel Father's Day. Because guess what? Us as guys, we don't care that much. One. Two. We already got another day. It's called Labor Day. Because guess who does the fucking work? I'm just kidding. That was a, that was a little joke. A uh, little mis- Oh my god, you're so misogynistic. Oh my god. 
I don't care. Um, I don't need you to tell me. I already know who I am. Uh, I'm not misogynistic, so go ahead and think whatever you want. But, um, but yeah, I just thought that was a funny joke. But yeah, this is just insane. It's driving me nuts that... Um, like, I get it. Girls are typically been treated worse in the past throughout history. Absolutely. No questions about it. Are they right now? You could say, possibly, well, what about the wage gap? Well, what about all the women that don't work? There are way more women in America that don't work than men. That is a fact. You can look it up. What about the jobs they choose to take? How many guys, when you went to school, right? We all know teachers don't get paid a lot, correct? Let's establish this right now. So then when you were in grade school, how many guy teachers did you have? Ooh, how many girl teachers did you have? What was that percentage? I would say 90%, probably girls. Somewhere in there, maybe 85 as I got older. Um, you know, there seemed to be more guys than as professors than there were as school teachers. That being said, professors at college get paid more than school teachers. Okay? Um, and so we all understand teachers don't get paid a lot. Girls are teachers. Huh. Guess they don't get paid a lot. Huh. Maybe it's not them or society. Maybe it's the jobs they're choosing, which is not their fault. They are. Okay. I, technically it is. But um, now do I agree teachers should be paid more? Okay. So now what happens? We start paying teachers more. Guess what? The wage gap decreases. Why? Not because women automatically get, well, I, technically they would be because they're all teachers, but not because of anything else, but because we just fixed a thing that only fem mainly females tend to be a part of you know okay so when you go let's do, do a little experiment for me go to your local hospital see how many male uh nurses there are okay now see how many female surgical doctors there are i would imagine it's going to be all mainly female nurses mainly male surgical doctors who do you think gets paid more did it have anything to do with whether they're a guy or a girl? Or did it have everything to do with the position they have and the title that they do and the job that they do? Okay. So, come on, ladies. Let's, come on. Let's just be realistic here. I'm not, I, I, I don't believe I'm a misogynist. My girlfriend would classify herself as a feminist. Um, I never rolled my eyes. You're probably already, oh, God, it's totally it's a misogynist. Um, but you look, she's classified. I agree with her on everything. Like, look, I'm I'm pro-choice. Like, blah blah blah. I I completely agree with every woman's rights. Like, all everything that they've, as far as rights go, absolutely, no questions about it. It's dumb if you don't agree with that. But don't tell me the wage gap is real. Don't tell me girls aren't uh, or guys are very douchey and girls aren't. No, no, no. Let's just think about it logically for a second reevaluate and then come talk to me we can have a conversation but we can't have a conversation if you're just gonna be irrational the whole time which goes without being said yep we're just gonna leave it there all right guys we'll see you next week that was my uh rant on female versus male relationships and how they are viewed in society hope we'll catch you next week um be on the lookout who knows might be doing tiktok might be doing it we'll check it out we'll see we'll see Anyway, we'll talk to you next week. Deuces.